Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Clueless Drinker. Uh, got another uh, Winter Fast beer, and this is coming from the Tucker Brewery out of Nuremberg. I had the Doppelbock recently, and I bought from two separate shops. I bought like one bottle from one shop and then a six pack to take uh, to a friend's house, and. Every bottle that I opened erupted. Now these were from different shops. I don't know whether it's just a, a big unstable batch. Um, but yeah, just messy as hell. So hopefully this won't happen with this one. But the beer in question today is the Christ Kindlesmarkt beer which is coming in at 6%, so it's a bit, I think this is probably the uh, heaviest ABV winter beer that I've had up to now, um, and yeah, beautifully designed label, um, that's as festive as you get. Of course, when you think of Christmas in Germany, a lot of people do think about the Christmas markets, especially in Nuremberg. Really sets the scene really nicely. Um, Really nice colour scheme, nice golden metallics as well, and uh, yeah, with a foil on the top, and I've already peeled back the foil, so you can see if there's a crown or not, and it's just a golden crown. But um, yeah, that is really festive, really Christmassy, and really nice to look at. So, let's hope that the beer itself is just as nice. So, I'm going to open that up. No problems with this one. Nice bit of smoke, not really picking that up too much. Uh, using the Eichhoffner glass. And that is looking pretty damn nice and it's actually quite active. I'll pour it all in. Uh, you can probably hear the fizzle of the carbonation. And uh, yeah, lots of bubbles cling to the side. The head disappeared pretty much straight away. Uh, really nice and clear. It's a nice straw golden colour. Uh, not too deep, but not too pale. And um, yeah, looks like a really nice, crisp, refreshing beer so far. So on the sniff, uh, it's pretty much just like a citrusy lager. Although, tone down the citrus and replace that with... Uh, a really strong malt presence up front. Yeah, it's got like a deep, almost caramel malt sort of flavour on the sniff. Scent, I should say. Those malts are really evident. And um, yeah, it actually it smells a lot richer and a lot deeper than it actually looks, both in real life and on camera. Spices in the background as well. Your typical peppery and herby notes also. And yeah, it smells really nice actually. So I'll top this up and give it a taste, see what it's like. So, cheers. It's not the strongest taste in beer of its kind. And it's kind of like um, a good in-between of being a rarely malty, almost Mertzen sort of beer. But it's got that like vibrancy and crispness of a regular Hellers. There's a bitterness throughout. And it is spiced. You are picking up on those spiced tones as well. Pepperiness. It's got like a herbiness as well. It's really quite um, like a licorice bitterness on the finish. Uh, it's got a nice body to it. A little bit heavier than a regular Hellas or Lager. But it's not as heavy as, let's say, a Mertzen or an Oktoberfest beer. The malt flavour is strong, but it's not as strong as other beers of this type. But it's not weak. I have had a couple of these uh, winter fest sort of beers that have just pretty much tasted like a really nice regular Hellas beer. 
but it's like a nice um, balance of the two. It is definitely a wintry beer. And I'm almost getting like um, that flavour there. I took a big gulp of it. And I got like that, that sweetness you get from like a Leberkuchen, which isn't really overly sweet. It's got like a denseness to it. Yeah, I've got that in my head now. It's like a, a less pronounced version of that. This is a really nice example of the style. Um, it's not the, the greatest one that I've tried so far. But it, it's at least got those festive feelings to it. It doesn't really look too festive. It doesn't necessarily smell too festive. But on the flavour, you are getting those ones. It is more along the lines of... Um, it's like a nice, zestier, crispier version of like... Um, uh, Voltenberger Kloster's Wintertraum. And yeah, it's... I don't know, it's, it's a really nice culmination of the styles. I'd say this is a really good uh, introduction to uh, a Winterfest beer. Even though it's a really accessible... Uh, beer style in itself since it's pretty much just a variation on the lager on hellers with the fact that it's got um, English language on the back I'd imagine that this is a beer that is fairly easy to import to be honest and it's one of those ones where if you see it definitely give it a try It'd be really good on a Christmas day after you you know your big Christmas meal it'll complement that perfectly it work on its own afterwards when you need, you know, when you're stuffed and you're full and you just want to drink the rest of the night. It's a really nice sessional beer. Even though it's at 6%, um, it's really well masked and well balanced. It doesn't feel too heavy and you could probably get a little bit too carried away with this one, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's a really nice example of the style. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's got that high quality there. Um, it could just be a little bit more festive all round. Uh, but on a beer on its own merits, if you were to just receive uh, a pint of that, you would definitely enjoy that one. It would go down a treat. Um, nothing too exceptional, nothing too unique. It's just a good, solid attempt at the style. And um, yeah, one that you should definitely pick up if you ever get the opportunity to do so. 7.5 out of 10. If you want to find out more about the brewery itself and this beer, of course, those links will be down below in the description box, as well as any reviews that I find here on YouTube. And of course, check out my other winter beers up to this point. Um, check out, I don't know if it will be uploaded by now, my other took a review of their Doppelbock, and you'll see exactly what I mean about that being a very active beer and of course check out the clueless drinker playlist for more beer reviews so guys thank you very much for watching and i shall see you in the next video cheers